Good afternoon and welcome to a very, very windy South Shields. And um, like many photographers this week, I've decided to have a go at trying to get this Neowise Comet. And because I find myself over the northeast, I've come to the coast to try and do a recce for later. So that's why I've come to South Shields. I've got a shot in mind with uh, Tynemouth Priory, which I think, if the calculations are right, will be right for a shot later on. So I'm just going to have a walk down to the cliffs and we'll talk to you down there, see if the alignment's right. Comet seems to be moving sort of north to northeastish. So I just need to see whether I can get far enough across to get that alignment with the Priory. So I'm going to go and have a look down there now and um, we'll have a wander down and uh, we'll see what it's like, get photo pills out, compass out and see if we're lined up right. So in order to find the correct alignment, I set off down to the cliffside and then gradually walked up the coast until I could find a decent place with an alignment towards the prairie. Right, you can see from there, I'm quite a long way away from the, um, the actual priory, but that's what I wanted really, so I could zoom in, hopefully compress the scene a little bit, so we can get a decent shot of the silhouette of the priory with the, <coughs> with the sort of um, neowise above it. Uh, but I think the alignment's a little bit wrong. I need to move a little bit further along. I'm too far to the east, so it looks like we're going to miss it. So I need to just move along the coast a little bit. Uh, to get the angle a bit different. So I'll move along there again, try again, and this is why I've come, part of the recce. Try and make sure that save time later, hopefully get yourself in the right spot, find out where it is, and then when you get here, it's just a bit of fine tuning when it appears. So uh, yeah, a bit further along, see if it's any better. So I've worked my way along the beach to here, and still quite a long way away, but there's the silhouette of the Priory and I've also got the two lighthouses at the end which provide a potential bit of foreground. But this is the main sort of silhouette that we'll be after. Um, the alignment's there or thereabouts, probably just need to be a little bit further to the left. There is a, a gun turret on the, on the hill over there which overlooks the beach. So we'll probably come back tonight and start there. That should be perfectly aligned hopefully for the start. And then if we need to we can always come along the um, the cliff line here to, to widen the angle if we need to. So I'm happy it's on. I'm just not happy about the amount of cloud at the minute. It is supposed to be clearing and there is clear skies forecast, but it's uh, yeah, it's a bit hitty missy at the minute. So we shall have to wait and see. So for now, we're gonna go and get some tea and we'll be back later. Well, good evening. And um, not back where you might expect. Um, I've obviously got that shot planned for later that we were talking about earlier, but the more astute of you who are well travelled will know that I am in Newcastle on the quayside at the Millennium Bridge and just killing a bit of time really. Um, came down here for a blue hour shot um, and it's starting to look quite nice. Just waiting for it to go a bit, a bit darker, but uh, yeah, it's a nice reflection shot on the quayside, should be quite good. So we'll have a little play here for half an hour, waiting for the skies to get dark, and then we'll be off back down to that shot we had planned at South Shields. So I'll show you a little bit of footage round here, hopefully a nice shot on the Millennium Bridge, then we'll be on the road, and we'll see you on the beach. Well, you can see there behind me the reflections at the minute. Just look at this. It's a blue hour. The blue contrasted with the green Millennium Arch. Just, oh, it's mint. The water's just dropped to enough level where you can get a decent long exposure. So, yeah, it looks really good. So, uh, we're just setting up here. Um, trying to avoid the drunks on the quayside. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think this will be a nice shot, this. Really nice. Blue hour shot. It's got the... Um, the Baltic building in the middle of it. Oh, just look at this.
Right, welcome back to South Shields. Here we are, down on the beach, and we parked up in the car park, and I can already see it. <laughs> it's up there already. Looks in a good spot as well. Come on, let's have a look at this baby. Just trying to get down on the beach, get us set up somewhere reasonably dark, and then uh, should better see it a bit better. See if we can get it on the camera. Right, we're with you in a sec. This is looking really nice. It's going to be quite tricky to show this on the video um, because obviously it's dark and the ISO on this thing's not brilliant. I'll try and show you. Um, can I show you the shot on the back of the camera? Probably can. Um, I'll be probably going to be better if I just show you the image. But it's really nice. The um, we've got the meteor directly above um, the Priory, which is where we wanted it. Um, got it in a nice single exposure. Um, nice and sharp, got the ISO up to 800, shutter speed about two seconds and uh, yeah it's looking really nice and because there's still a bit of an orange glow from the sunset um, the Priory is looking quite nice silhouetted with a bit of red behind it, looks quite nice. Yeah really like it, really like it. Oh this is so cool you know shooting my first comet, excuse this camera struggling to focus. Um, yeah it's absolutely brilliant, it's a uh, naked um, visible to the naked eye. I was going to say naked something else. I don't know what I was thinking of. Um, yeah, completely visible um, quite easily um, with the naked eye now. Got a really long tail on it. And uh, yeah, really nice shot. Really happy with it. Um, taking a couple, I zoomed in on the uh, comet, took a couple of sort of more zoomed in shots. Um, Probably mess about for another 10 minutes here and then we're going to go and try and get uh, a sort of similar type shot but uh, from Penshaw Monument um, and uh, yeah be a nice little one to the collection. Hey, <laughs> chuff with this. Well, we just had to stop the car. We just had to have a look at a lighthouse just around from South Shields to see if the Milky Way was rising above it. And then all of a sudden, um, there's a couple of lads here, and we saw something on the horizon. It was the moon rising just over the, just coming up over the sea. And uh, we just had a, one of the lads just had a check, and it's uh, a nice conjunction with Mars. So uh, we just jumped out, shot that, nice and pink as the sun came over the horizon. Sorry, the moon, not the sun. It's a little bit of the dark. Yeah, quite nice. We've got a Saturn Jupiter conjunction as well over my shoulder, but not in the best spot to get that. It's all kicking off. It's all kicking off. Right, we've scooted across to Penshaw Monument, which is quite nice. You can probably see it behind me over my shoulder. Um, and it could be on again. Different composition. Same subject, well, the comet. Right, let's have a look. Let's just turn this round. I don't know how good it'll be, but uh, on the camera, but uh, it's definitely, I can see it by, with the naked eye, so it's looking good. Yeah, at first I thought these pylons were a bit of a, a pain, but actually they make quite an interesting composition um, with, the menu, with the monument in between them and the, uh, yeah, the comet above him. We'll just have a little do with this one. Yeah, tiny. It's really hard to make out on this, but uh, you've now got some noctilucent clouds over the top of the monument with the meteor sat above that. It is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Everything you wanted in Astro shot. This, this is amazing actually. We're, 
We've just been waiting for the NLC to see if it's going to kick off anymore. We've just been looking round. We've had the International Space Station over twice. Uh, I missed it both times, really. But we were, to be honest, we weren't really looking for that. We've got Saturn and Jupiter conjunction here. We've got the Moon and um, Mars conjunction. We've just got Venus rising over the horizon. Um, and believe it or not, we just shot Jupiter with the four mo with the four moons around it. I mean. What a night for Astro. Unbelievable. Just have a look at this. It's taken quite a bit to sort it out. I'm shooting at 300 mil. Um, but yeah, you can see the four moons of, is it four moons of, I don't know what they're called, but I'm sure it's the four moons of Jupiter or is it Saturn? I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Just to make sure I get the right one. Right, how would I sum up tonight? Well, I think for you know anybody who's interested in Astro tonight is at an absolute oh, extravaganza of things to photograph. We've got Neewise, the comet comes every 6,000 years. Um, there's been some noctilucent clouds, um, planets, conjunctions, the ISS flying over twice. Um, We've got Venus, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, moons of Jupiter. Um, I mean, just an absolute cacophony of things to do. And uh, abs absolutely loved it all night. Been brilliant. Uh, been brilliant. And um, yeah, I was thinking about staying up for sunrise, but there's no clouds to speak of. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to head home for some sleep. Um, if you've enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. Um, um, and until next time, stay safe folks and catch you soon.